you connect to these three blessings grace of our lord jesus christ one the love of god two the communion of the holy spirit be with you when these three blessings are with you you are met. the word of god i want to talk the word of hope change liberty deliverance upliftment and breakthrough you are about to encounter god as you join reverend canon prince chokoma into deep revelation of the kingdom now the world he who has this hallelujah before you sit down when you consider the sun we have been reading this morning you will notice that god has been talking are you getting me god has been saying something and david kept wondering one thing you heard david repeat you i did not sin against him i didn't do anything why are they after my life did you hear david to say it it is not because of my sin i didn't wrong them i needed to offend them why are they after me in this manner at the time he called them mighty men blood thirsty men they are after my life but i want to tell you that you actually did something you actually offend them you hurt them if you return to where we took our test yesterday night let me just take verse one number chapter 22 then the children of Israel moved and camped in the plains of Moab on the side of the Jordan across Jericho. To when Balak, the son of Zippo, saw all that Israel had done to the Amorites. Pray, and Moab was exceedingly afraid. Do you know what you have done? You have decided to move. That is your offense. You have shifted levels. You did not remain at the level they wanted you to be. They want you to remain single and you married. it. Am I talking to someone? And you are still asking, what did I do? They wanted you to remain married. It's a marriage, man. It's your offense. I am here to pronounce to somebody you will keep from committing such offense. Amen. Are you with me? You are just starting to commit that kind of offense. Because after today, somebody another level is coming. I'm going higher, yes I am. I'm going higher someday. I'm going higher, yes I am. Going with Jesus to say, yeah. I'm going above the shadow. Going to the depths of the sea. I'm going higher, yes I am. Oh, I'm going higher someday. I'm going higher. Oh, I'm going higher. Oh, 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 Say, 
You went for prayers in Anambra. A widow, and I know you are standing. You will still sit down, okay? Okay, if you hear preachers in my phone, what are you doing? Amen. A widow, for that matter. But the son started to do well. Every brother was in love with that boy. And at the time, the boy changed. The boy became terror to their community. The boy became animal. He was raping girls. He was stealing. He was doing all manner of things. And one day the mother called me and said, Can you come and pray with us? I said, Okay, I am coming. I went with some of my prayer team members. We are still singing in their sitting room. The boy took his girlfriend, passed us in the sitting room, went inside the room, and was sleeping with the lady. While we were in the living room, clapping, he was at the other room. You know, we already said there is, there is another room. <laughs> Amen. The widow started crying, saying, Man of God, see what I've been telling you. I was annoyed in the spirit. We raised song, we raised song from song to song, from song to song, from song to song. At the time, angels came to war. We are still singing. The only surviving brother of the late husband came from the other compound. I said, Man of God, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay, and tell them to stop. It's okay, tell them to stop. 
trying to take me back to my hotel room. A woman, Madri Rosa, was looking. Normally, they know I don't stop to see people after administration. But I asked them to stop. I wind down and said, Madam, what is it? We are in the program. She said, no, no, no. I said, okay, you come to program. And after program, you come to block me. She said, please, 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 my son is dying. My son is dying. My son is dying. I said, what is wrong? She said, that they are to her that she will take that boy. She thought it was a joke. That evening in the battle came, spirit of death visited the boy. When they were struggling, praying, doing all manner of things, there was a knock on their door and it was their landlady. Emma Wilson. Emma Wilson. Emma Wilson. Emma Wilson. Emma Wilson. Emma Wilson. Emma I was, I said, okay, I said to the person taking me to a hotel, let's follow this woman to her house. We went to her house. I went straight to the landlord's flat. You see, I'm fine, I'm not going to be a baby. She said, Who are you? I said, I am a prophet. I represent heaven on the earth. I've said it, and so shall it be. By the time we came back the next day for the program, the landlady died. That boy lived. That man said, I cannot withstand the speed at which this boy was making it. Does it mean you will be in this family, in my Nigerian family, like he cannot get it up on the bed to come. He has a job to do on the board to come because everybody knows that you come. You have identity in my minister on the board to come. He just get a job up on the board. I a job on the board more. Do get something like that. The man doesn't want that boy to be the leader. He decided to lose the boy. The mother will sell some of the late husband's land. Give that boy money. I said, okay. It's time to undo. Where is the thing? Let's destroy it. He said, it's in the house of the native doctor. Neighboring village. Around 1 a.m. I said, let's go there. That night. We went there. When we knocked, the Wadibia. The, was asking who was that? I said, You have to answer him because he knows your voice. That he will think you come with another job. When he answered, the leader said, Oh, is he you? We opened the door, we came in. About seven of us. We came in. He 
He said, who are these people? I said, my name is Prince Chukwuma. We have come to ask you to release the brother's son, your idea. He asked me, it's what they say. It may be better before you could try it for Now we have cut to me. That one will run and you'll never see it come up. You don't understand. Everything bad at you. We beat him mercilessly. This is not prayer. We beat him. When we beat him, he said, please come, 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 come and see the place. I said, I'm going to be here. I'm going to be here. I'm going to be We went to that shrine. He said, okay, stay here while I go to the shrine. I said, who be you? Who come in? We are following you. Or do you want us to beat you again? He said, you can come in. And we went in, we saw a basin. There is no nothing you will not see there. You will see some artwork carved something, male and female, turned back to back and tied. That family will remain in crisis. You will be looking for the trouble in the room. You will see that the quarrel in that life is involved. Lives have been threatened. Yet you will see why they are bothered. When he was trying to search and search, he brought the one written the name of that boy. An artwork again, a male artwork. Do you know what was on it? A female pant and a bottle of sun tied to it. Giving 20 billion men, he will spend it on women and on things. No one and he was helping girls. And people we are calling him of okay. Are you living up there? They are afraid of if we blow some them up. The more the sweet space, the more you are living. The more the sweet space, the more you lose your world. The more the sweet space, the more you are getting higher and higher. If I am talking to you, shout the loudest say amen. You can see that now. Drop this. You can drop this. You can drop this. 
You do not know your name. Show my name. Princess Ranada Nuru. 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 Hallelujah. Briefly, I want to show you this morning principles for marching forward. Principles for going forward. I've noticed throughout this church that our petrachs prospered more during economic recession. I've noticed it. The Bible says, when there was famine in the whole land, the same year, Isaac planted and harvested a hundred food. And he became great and continued to be great until he was a city great in the time of famine. Somebody, you are returning with this kind of testimony. It is a matter of principle. Top John, the Bible says, I wish above all things that do us, you will prosper and be in health, even as your soul prospers. You see, most times we, we are having problem in the church. Because when you see people who have come to teach you principles of financial prosperity, Christians pretend as if they don't need it. They pretend as if they hate money. They pretend as if money should not be mentioned in the church. They pretend one specific position ah, this one is a prosperity preacher. Listen to me. There is what is called holistic gospel. A total gospel. And that is, I wish above all things that you prosper and your health prospers and your spirit does what I am. Do you know that when Jesus went to the cross, the cross provided so many things. It was at the cross that salvation was provided. Two of us. It was at the cross that healing was provided. Two of us. The Bible says, by his stripes, you are what? Healed. Just by his stripes, you are Healed. Not by the medications you took. No. Not by the doctor you visited. But by what? His price. Healing comes. About 2012 or 2013, my pastor's wedding then, I was living in their house. So you know, when a prophet is living in somebody's house, tendencies to disrespect him will be there. Amen. He was doing a lot of things and I was annoyed with him. So one day, cancer developed in his body. And it was a serious cancer. This one is at the anus. When he wants to go to the toilet, blood will be gushing out. And my wife was telling me, go and pray for him. And I said, no, I won't go. Because he does not believe he's living with a prophet. I won't pray for him. And the thing was worse and getting worse, getting worse, getting worse, getting worse. At the time he was going to work in sleep. And then he went to hospital. And doctor said that the cancer has spread in his body. That he cannot survive. My wife said, 
Why won't you pray? And I said, He does not believe in me, so my prayers will not work for him. And at the time, my wife knows what to tell me to get me. Once you try to relate my action to pride, I will run away. And she said to me, Oh God, will you give to God name make guy? And she knows I cannot stand it. So maybe she said that I invited some members of PCC. I said, let's go and pray for this man. We went to the other compound where he's living. And when we came there, I said, the Bible says, if he really is sick, let him call the elders of the church. But he didn't call us. Let, you know, Bible, Bible, the Bible has principles. Am I correct? If any is sick, what should you do? You call the elders of the church. He didn't call us. Let them pray for him. Anointing him with oil. And the fervent prayer of the council shall not do what? If he has committed the sin, he shall do what? Forgive you. I said you didn't call us. But mercy is available. I lifted oil, I anointed him. And I caught and I see all these things, they have ears and they hear. Do you know? Cancer, diabetes, they hear. The truth is that when God speaks, everything hears. That is the truth. I say, Cancer. Eh, I am Kenaba. Name I, I just ask cancer to go. I say, cancer, you are just a name. But Jesus is a name above all names. Jesus is not just a name. Jesus is a name what? Above all names. So cancer, Quadona, and we cast cancer away. By next morning, we go put our card here. When you see the one, you just see a kajolo. May God just in a happy end. That was the end of cancer. You know what? The Bible says, by his stripes. You are here. That was one of the provisions of the cross. Excuse me, Christians. Do you know that the cross provided your financial prosperity? You are not hearing me. The cross also provided your financial prosperity. The Bible says, For you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, though he was rich, but for your sake he became poor, so that you, through his poverty, will not be poor, you become rich. Am I talking to somebody? When you understand the Bible, when you understand what God has said, that Jesus was rich and he was looking at your poverty. He said, No, let me become poor so that can on prince through my poverty now will become what? So, why will I be poor again? Just like Jesus saw you in sin and he said, Let me become sin so that you through me will now become what? Righteous. I studied life, I found that there are four categories of people living on the earth. The first category of people were the people I call the ungodly world man. Ungodly rich man. Very, very ungodly. Very, very unrighteous. Yet, very, very rich. I know three hundred people People like Nebuchadnezzar, do you know that man was bastardly rich? And then came the man who climbed the top of his house. He was looking at the beauty of Babylon. At the time he said, Kai, this is Babylon I built by my powers. And God said, no, I cannot take this one. God said to him, Nebu, take time. Nebu said, what are you talking? I built Babylon. And 
and the dross pan will lose your snow. The boy boy here. And he ate grass for seven years. Then he lifted his eyes. Say, hey, Papa, me and I chill and you go. Not to I'll see I can and he says, What will be a lesson? CJ will take us for now. Or tie it up here and we will return to the throne. Ungodly word man, if you meet them, they boast, they talk like God. You know, I will, will leave me. I will make sure you leave a room. As if he is God. Look at this idiot. Don't mind him. Any day I will remember him. I will just finish him. The talk as if he God. How many people have a time you So, God, you know that. They don't try it. Okay, get out. And when Kesse say, Say, I am a black book, Zodokuna. Say, I am a manufacturer, no local. I am a balomoria, a chum no local. You see, you may learn to call me a boy, a boy. I am not a man of God. Just because they had money. They were one of them because Ebai Nobu Roman Catholic dominated area. By Gola and Abyasin. They could not get a Kanaya Bapila. Nobu and Emeva, Naya Puari, Nadi, Ujama Puja. Nama Munyo. No, I'm in the way. For coming to talk like this, you will be poor until you never must cycle. Or two young can be six years, or two young can be but that's not one and a model. Ego na abali. Uchi yata usin ma ya hunkulim basi ya na kosi. You don't talk like God because you are not God. I'm showing you ungodly, wealthy men. They are ready to block the road with their car and they will be chatting why they will be held up. After them, I see another category of people ungodly, poor men. This one, Naim was. Money, you may get. God. When you go see me, I will go here. At the same time, no one will have no sin. Help him, you are in trouble. Don't help him, you are still in trouble. Have you met such people before? Now, this man is stingy. Do you know, upon all his money, it's only 1,000 that he gave me. Just 1,000. Don't give him a thought. I can't go. Do you? She, 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 she. He didn't give me. <laughs> I used to say something before. Second category of people. Third category of people. And that is where too many Christians belong to. Righteous poor men. That is where too many believers belong to. And I am here today with a apostolic mandate to deliver you from this category. Yeah. Very, very holy, very, very righteous, and very, very poor. People like Nebuchadnezzar, uh, people like uh, Lazarus, not Nebuchadnezzar, Lazarus. You know he was very righteous. He died and went to heaven, but he was too poor, extremely poor. 
he was poor that the poor people were even calling him a poor man. If you go to the rich man and blast him with undiluted word of God, repent or you perish. When he wants to go, he says, Sir, can I carry that half bag of rice I saw? Has he not finished the gospel? Yes, finished the gospel. This is where so uh, where many believers belong to. In fact, I was reading Bible. It looks as if, as if to me that even while the rich man was in hellfire, he has not noticed that Lazarus was in heaven. He was regarding him as a poor man. Do you know he was in hellfire? He was still sending him on errands. Uh, uh, Father Abraham, tell Lazarus. Let him go to my house and give the message. Now I'm going to say, I'm sick. You are used to send him on Ellen. The final category Righteous rich man. Who's a poor like us? Righteous rich man. People like us. Amen. Do you want to belong there? It's a matter of principles. We have found that we have a club, righteous Bilonia's club. The founder of that club is Papa Abraham. For God has blessed Abraham in all ways. Genesis 24. God has blessed him in how many ways? Always. Let me show you a few principles and you belong here. Principle number one, Ephesians chapter 6. Ephesians chapter 6. If it is your let me allow this man. Ephesians chapter 6 Children, obey your parents in the Lord For this is right Honor your father And your mother Which is the first commandment With promise That it may go well With you And you may live long On the earth Very simple Key to prosperity Honor your father and mother. And what will happen? Things will go well for you. Very simple key. But believe me, 70% of financial failure is negligence to this principle. I'm telling you the truth. Demonic attack is less than 10%. You know, when Satan wants to attack you, what he does is to make you to break a principle. That is his highest strength in attack. To make you break principle. Because it is written, anybody that breaks the wall, serpents must fight. Satan's most powerful tools in attack is to make one to break down the age. You know, when Satan wants to attack Job, he couldn't attack Job. And they came to the church, and God said to him, Have you considered Job, my servant? Okay, you are free, go and attack him. And Satan asked Job, asked God one powerful question. How can I consider him? How can I attack him? When you have made a hedge around him. He seems impenetrable. God says, okay. I will remove the hedge from his business, from his money, but I will put the hedge over his health. That was the instruction God gave. When God said to Satan, you can attack his business, but don't touch his body. You know what God did that day? He removed the hedge from the business and put it around his health. On that one day, the business collapsed. But the Satan succeeded in doing 
must make sure that the race is broken. Am I talking to somebody today? Why so many of us suffer in our businesses is that Satan has succeeded making you to break his. And this is a principle. Honor your father and mother. Things will go well for you. So anytime you dishonor them, you are simply saying, let things not go well for me. Am I talking to somebody here? You are too dull. Are you not understanding what I'm saying? When you destroy Jesus, he will come the second time and say, if you break from his body, let me touch his body. God said, okay, you can touch his body, but don't touch his life. What God did again, he removed the rage from his health, but he placed it over his life. And that was, that was where Satan could stop. So, the Bible says, if you want things to go well, what are things? Business, career, your studies, your marriage, your job. If you want them to go well, there is a principal key. And what is that key? Honor your father and your mother. Let me tell you the truth. It was this key that liberated me from poverty. I am teaching it out of experience. I suffered poverty until 2008. By 2008, my mom was so sick, very sick. So we raised money, all of us, we raised money and sent her to India. When she got to India, she was diagnosed of having spinal cord problem. And the surgeon will cost some thousand naira. And there was no money again. My other sister in Pata called, she called me. We are discussing, discussing, I don't know what to do. Nobody knows what to do again. And I went to my vicar. Then I was a church teacher. I went to my vicar. Then my vicar was venerable, I would say. I went to him and said, Daddy. I need salary loan. He said, how much? I said, 600,000. What will you do with it? I want to send it abroad for my mother's treatment. Hmm. And that was what was looking at me. How will you pay it? I said, that you can be taking it from my salary. He started laughing at me. Do you know why he was laughing? He was calculating church teacher's salary. <laughs> when 700,000 will be accepted? That was the math he was doing. By then, my salary was a little less than 15,000. And I was coming for 600,000 loan. He asked me a question. How will you feel? How will you feed your family? I said that I just read something in the Bible. Honor your father and mother. And things will go well for you. He said, if that is where you base your faith, go and apply for 300,000. We'll give you. I applied. They gave me. And we sent it to India. I didn't know what I did to myself until when the first month ended and there was no salary. <laughs> you may think your salary is small until at the end of the month you will receive it. You will understand. It was not an easy situation. After the surgery, my mom came home and he was asking my father, but how did you raise the money? He said that your son, Onyen Kusi, went and collected salary loan. And that was how we were able to raise it. My mom called me on the phone and asked me to come over to her family house at Mbo. When I went there, I saw her and my father in the room. Immediately I entered the room. My mother started crying. My father started crying. And my mother said to me, Nina, so he's sick again and the boogie bullet on you. Come where they do. They asked me to kneel down. I knelt down. And this couple opened fire. You know, there was a day Isaac said to Esau, 
go and bring meat for me. When I eat your meat, my heart will bless you. Listen to me. Oh, oh, oh. Listen to me. Every parent, their meat are blessing their children. But before their heart will bless you, there must be extraordinary service. To somebody before their hearts will bless you, bro. You must do something to draw it out. That was the day I understood that scripture. The day my father and my mother blessed me. Hear me. That was the day your of poverty was destroyed in my life. If I'm going now, people look at me as a millionaire. Last June, we went for synod in June in our diocese, and we are trying to build university. So when Bishop was calling for donation uh, through the chairman of the university. No coach for them, ten thousand, twenty thousand. That's the Kimbagote fifty, thirty, twenty. When I came out, I said to them, I believe in seed, I believe in sacrifice. Now, one million there with the one million. There was a day that yoke was severe and broken. That day I knelt down. My father and my mother led as they were talking, they were crying. As they were talking, they were crying. As my mother said, Kai! So this is the river. So this is your family. Bulono. Just can't do As my wife said, No, you are not making a family. You are here. No, you are going on here. Your mother and this we do us, we go away. I'm telling you, some of you, you know that your mother will call you. Yeah, mama, no money, mama, 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 uh, economic recession. Mama, I'm not sure where 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 I'm not sure and you think you will succeed he said why if you succeed then the word of God is not true you don't like me again eh? honor your father and mother and things will go well. If you honor them and things didn't go well, then God is a liar. And God, remember yesterday, he said, I am not a man, therefore I cannot lie. Which means once you honor your father and your mother, things on their own will begin to go well. You see that business, that business will begin to go well. You see that job, that job will begin to go well. You see that career, all that will begin to go well. Because there is a special principle you are obeying. Am I talking to somebody this morning? When they finished blessing me, it was on a Saturday. I came back that Saturday. After service like this on a Sunday, that was 2008. As I was leaving, one of the most richest men in Nehui was a member of our church then in GCC. He saw me. I said, Ah, catch this, catch this, come. He was called, I was a church teacher then. So he was calling me catch this. Catch this, come. When I came, he said, I heard you took all your money and sent it to India. I said, yes, but the Bible says, honor your father and mother. 
and things will go well for you. He said, every time you are talking faith, 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 all this is your faith with how we say, faith, 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 faith. He said, how do you feed your family? I said, I don't know. But the Bible said, oh, the man started wrecking me and I got annoyed. He said, hey, Gogi, did I send your money? Can you not love me I want your son? Did I, did I come to get your money? I sent my money and only me not harassing Tell me what you have to do well. I said, okay. This is what you have told me, and you are talking another thing. Nah, by seven, I'm going to go and the office. By seven, I was there. I was there. When it's my, it was my turn, I entered. I said, okay, catch this, have you come? Say, yes, sir. So, uh, go down, I've given an accountant instruction. What did we do? As I was going out, I was saying in my heart, hey, go my car now, for child accountant. Something that will give me in the office, I'll go my way. That way I should go and see accountant. So he will let me go. I came down. I went to the accountant. He brought payment voucher and asked me to sign here. He said, and I sign, they go and sign. I said, no. That the chairman asked him to include me in their payroll. That they will pay me salary every month. And I signed. They gave me one envelope. I pressed it. It was flat. So I knew it was check. When I came out, I opened it. It was a check of 80,000. I came back and asked him, was it for this month? So no, someone said, we should be paying you 80,000 every month. I asked him, where will it end? He said, I don't know. He said, we should continue first. I said, okay. That was how I started earning salary. 80,000 is like my own salary times 5 or times 6. Are you hearing me now? Every month I go to work in that company. I go to work. They pay salary 26th or 25th. So every 25th or every 26th go to work. When I come, man of God, have you come? Yes, sir. Sign here. I sign. They give me a check. Walk close to your next month. And you know the miracle? They are still paying me salary today. I don't chop that of October. I don't chop this month. So I don't chop up. Honor oh, your father and your mother. Things must go well. Am I talking to somebody now? That was how I was the first church teacher to ride a car. One day I was going to work in that company. You understand how I go to work? I was right then, I was still a church teacher. I was riding my bike and there was heavy pain. No, I said, I was going to get a little bit of 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 he said that Sherman called him and Flamenta come and said I should come and see him. And my heart left my heart. I said, wow, it's like this pump wants to close. I went up. Sherman phone said, hi. Miller Maggie. 
Zasha mwenye yake na kwa lumu Masumu wakangu wakina mfu wakina mili ya mahaje Nse ya kambada bago mwenye Ima hando wakalanya hana mwadi ito yukini kwenye katahe mwisi Makia wenye kini ya kini kwenye kwenye kato kuwe zifa ya mbisi ya Nse ya kambada bago wika nje fwa accountant I came down Sainu cha Kampu accountant sinu sainu kwa nika Nse ya kwezi mkedi nika Asuna shia mwa mpwali ya nini takom Sia wezi yenu msisa ndo ya tazan Kanje gulu moto Na ucho wazika mbili maana Can you remember We are all these blessings I have from I hope you are from You are tracing me All you are from Gente, every parent has the destiny of their children in their stomach. If your father, if your mother has not vomited your blessing, in my feeling, you will have any solaria. You get the name solaria and the area. Do everything. Call for me. I'm telling you, I know I cannot be poor. Some people are saying, Now, nah, please, sir, the pompous. It's not pomposity. I know I cannot be poor. Or do all possible. Also, one dollar, no more two million naira per dollar. I can still not be poor. Because Nigeria economy is not controlling me. What is controlling me is heavenly economy. Hallelujah. Do you know? Excuse me. Reuben, the first son of Jacob, who frustrated him? Huh? This man, Baal, will say, that old man, that old man, that old man, give them respect. You're taking your dear friends to Nikki Hotel. You have a hotel, Lake. Taking them to five star hotels. When your mother is virtually starving, okay, you will die for her. If you are here in the city, and a boy claiming you are a big man, claiming you are a big man, when you cannot take care of your parents, it's a dangerous move. I prayed for a bank manager. She came for a manager to see me. She wants to marry. So when she came, I said, okay, somebody directed you to me. Most naturally, can answer it. They don't see no problem. I will pray with you. We started praying, praying for more. She was coming once a week. We were praying. At the time, one day we were just chatting. I said to her, how about your father? She said, my father is late. I said, ah, he's a pity. And I said, then what about your mother? And she said to me, leave that one first. I said, now I have seen the source of your problem. She asked me, what do you mean? I said, your mother is as a man now and you have Amosus. It's not issue of Amosus now. It is issue of law. Principle you are breaking. I said, get ready, we'll go and visit your mother. Do you know her response? Over my bed. She looked at me as a man of God. Over my dead body, will I visit that woman? I said, in that case, let us share the grace. Prayer has ended. And she was mad with me. She said, if you don't want to pray with me, I go and I will go to my pastor. After I'm not an Anglican, I'm a winner. I'm a winner. I said, but you are losing. She was leaving. I called her back. I said, if you marry without reconciling with your mother, then I am not a servant of God. She said, are you, are you cursing me? I said, no. By the spiritual principles, you are cursed already. Because the Bible says, honor your father and mother and things shall go well for you. And the Bible says, in the book of Deuteronomy, whosoever curses his father or his mother, in the obscure darkness, God will snuff off his light. God takes our 
very serious. Amen. She left. Around 2007, she returned after like three years. By then, she has entered 41. And she said to me, Man of God, I know that it is you, but God will use to answer this prayer. My heart is telling me that it's you. Please just pray, just pray for me. I said, Are you ready to go and see your mom? That was where we stopped. She said, Do you know how much seed I've sown concerning this thing? That I went to Shiloh. You know, there was a program, uh, there's a program of winners called Shiloh in Lagos. That she went to Shiloh and sowed the seed of 5 million naira. I said, Well, your seed is good. But there is a principle that will cause that seed to germinate. We must see your mother. After much argument, she said, if you insist, I say, I'm insisting. The day we will go, she opened her boots. When we came down to go, I asked her to open her boots. And I was asking her, Kela Barais. Kela Barazu. I said, Madam, if you want to see your mom, you go and bring my items. Maybe so. I said, when you are coming, bring 500,000 tithes of that seed you sowed in Chilo. She said, for you now, I said, for mama. And it doesn't show up with you. The next day she came, my item was complete and we sent to Ebony State. We started coming to Ebony. When we entered their house, come and see where bank manager's mother was living. One small hut, the late father left. That one, the door is as rough as like this. If you want to come out, you have to bend and come out. The mother just came out of that small hut. She was looking at us as we were bringing those items. And after that, I said, go and do what I asked you to do. Go and beg mama. And she went and knelt before the woman. She was begging the woman, and the woman just removed her hand from her cloth. Came to where I was standing and said to me, Mwam, chuku gasiyoki. If you need your to a neighbor. This is the first time I'm seeing her in eight years. When the father died, she was small. I did this, I did this job, I did this job, I did this job just to raise her. When she passed university, no money. I stopped her siblings from going to school. I sold my husband's only plot of land on the site for her to go to school. The woman said when she graduated that she was the one that prayed for her to get this job work, this bank work on her own. The woman was so sure that she secured that job by her prayers. She was too sure. <laughs> And I was looking like this. I said, wow. And she was sowing seed. You know why she came to tell me that she sowed seed in winners? She said, I sow seed of 5 million naira. Do you know that she now said to me, man of God, just mention your own seed. Mention your own seed. To be frank with you, when she said that temptation came, Mother said, "In your generations, we have five million. Get on, Kiki. You understand? Hi, I say hi. Had it been I was a digital pastor, you know all these digital pastors. We don't know in the German history. I go in Magasifa. It was in Goku Kepa." Everyone is asking me to the on your computer. Sky, have you been? I was a digital pastor. Yeah, India now what was it called? Unyesa idiom. 
Siaka Naba. Say that guy, Jesus. As the guy was moving to the cross, another guy helped the guy to carry the cross. Somebody slap your neighbor. And all I know. All these digital pastors. Hello. I said, I didn't think I was a digital pastor. I would just close my eyes. Blow one tongues. Gaga, 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 ga. Ten million. You know money will come. Eh? Ah, when the woman was lamenting. Do you know the problem? When she got job bank, uh, bank job, the woman then called her to send money so that her siblings that stopped school years back can go back. She opened her mouth and asked the mother, when you were giving birth to them, don't you know you will train them? If I spend my money to train your children, who will train my own? Who will train my own children? And the woman's heart tore. And she said to her, Maybe she can't be able to do it. 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 You know what is going on? Co wife. And she was sowing seed. Fat girl. Hello. After that reconciliation, we made that move December 2007. She wedded Easter Monday 2008. No prayer. Because immediately she honored her mother, things began to do up again to go with her. One day, Jacob said to her children, God has told me all sons of Jacob, and I will tell you how your tomorrow will be. Hear me, your parents have the capacity to say what your tomorrow will be. That day, when they lined up, he looked at Reuben. He said, Ah, Reuben, you are my first friend. You are my strength. You are this. You used to excel in honor, in glory. He said, Ruben, you shall excel no more. Because you slept with my concubine. He looked at Judah. He said, Judah, may scepter of authority never depart from Judah. May your brothers bow down at your feet. Let some other sons serve you. You might as well make sure that must say, Oh, Chiliese, say, Campanake, say, Galepo, Apuna, Judah, go on, make you serve working. Kahajel goes, let me ask you, which tribe will produce your say, this well? Because the father said it years back. Am I talking to somebody? One day, Joseph brought his children for the father to bless them. He took the elder son to the right, younger one to the left, and Papa crossed his hand. When he wanted to talk, Joseph said, No, 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 Papa, don't talk, Papa, don't talk. This one is the elder. Change your hand. The man said, I know. The other one will be great, but the younger one will be greater. What caught my attention was the next line. The Bible says, He thereby placed the younger one ahead of the older one. And that is why Israel said, Israel and Manasseh, instead of Manasseh and Israel. Excuse me, let me ask you again. Who placed the younger one ahead of the older one? God? Was he God? Who? Papa place ahead of you. never call Oh, my 
Why is he a year ago? Why would you give her money? Why would you take care of her? Yesterday I was telling that I've given my mom a car and a driver. I took care of her as nothing day. Program not my mom, your negative fasting, Nata. In two weeks, I now, after this Monday, Monday 14th, 14th of November, I will be for four days program in Kano. You move to Anna Kano, or my mama, and the Joko Browsa, or you make the fasting. The book of Haram, I have for me. I have to pump the baby. Honor your father and your mother. Finally, before I go to the next point, I will run off. I went to St. John Soko for a program. Then the next morning, I, I was running counseling. And the young guy just walked into the office. He was just walking like this. <laughs> when he came in, he said, Nah, man of God. Man of God. Nete na from. Nah, undum, 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 just, just turn one upside down. Undum, undum, turn upside down. You first say something, Junior brother, say okay, well, no. so, the, the, the guy will to the other side. <laughs> Amen. I just, I just jump with, with the other side. Say na na, jump out with you. Say the other side. When you came, I asked him, what is the problem with your brother? I said, that is a long story. That the father did everything for this boy to be useful. Go out one bar. Bar boy, he has a chapa. Mwaya, be a bloom. Mwa mkwa kolo, but he said, no. Oh, you know, man. The dad 9911. The dad, the police is saying, Why are the police conduct here? I'm not going to go. How are you going to go? We will be here. We will be here. We will be here. One day, the man drove from north to Befanoko. Very tired. Around 1 a.m. in the night. A man came and said, Oh, we're covering the car. Kochaya, you see how we're at Kassiayawa. Left him stuck naked. Oh, my neighbor, you can be out to watch it up at Pahawa or all my chairs. If you know your mama, no boy, you were come to sign up. Mama, fast in those, but I don't know you, but I don't know you. I'm an honor, I'm an honor, I'm an honor, I'm an honor. A happier, the man begged the Ikebuya, the man when Yanyenu. The only thing he saw was the moon. The man who did the Owa Owa, see an Owa, 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 that she had been faithful in the same way. Luota Chisobe. Ono 
upon your father and your mother so that things will go well for you. Let me show you one more and I will round off. Genesis. I'm showing you principles. Prosperity is embedded in principles. Are you still with me? Genesis chapter 22. Now it comes to pass after these things that God tested Abraham and he said, Abraham, and he said unto me, Abraham, and he said, Here am I. Okay, sometime later, God tested Abraham's feet. Abraham, God called, yes, he replied, Here I am. Take your son, your only son, Isaac. You take your son, your only son. Yes, Isaac. That yes there shows, shows there was a discussion in between which was not written. Okay? Isaac, whom you love so much, and go to the land of Moria, go and sacrifice him as a burnt offering on one of the mountains which I shall show you. Praise the Lord. Another thing to open financial door is sacrifice. Another key, another key that opens financial door is sacrifice. One day God said to Abraham, Abraham, take your son, your only son, for sacrifice. You have seen the camera book Abraham na book. Ishmael. God said, no, it's not his man. Say, oh, Isaac. She make a say, yes. Isaac. The one you love. Take him to the altar for sacrifice. Hear me? Give him our encounters. And we can offer him. But you are never at the moment. Give me the name. Can you hear Jesus? If you want some naira, it's the go back in Jesus' name. When you see one thousand naira, say go back in Jesus' name. When you see five hundred naira, go back in Jesus' name. If you say fifty naira, it's fifty naira, come out. And you drop it. It's your offering, I have no problem with that. Okay? Then after offering, they will can about tithes. Anything less than ten percent is not tight. And the worst thing is that it is not only God who collects tithes. Then we might never collect tithes. One is God, second is the Father. If you don't give God tithes, you we'll give it to the Father. And the worst thing is that the Father does not collect ten percent. The Vora will take all and you will go to finish paying the Vora tight. Then Ewen Kana of food. The apples. Apples is sacrifice. At sacrificial level, God tells you what to do. At anybody that will change level must do one sacrifice or the other. You are not permitted to step to another level in life with a sacrifice. When you have prayed, you have fasted, it seems as if it is not working. Scatter everything with sacrifice. When God was about to usher me, like that's something I used to do. When I am praying for a particular thing, like right now, I am asking God for a hammer boss will be using for my mission team. I have a mission team, Christ for the remote people, missionary outreach. We go to interior villages for mission. And I notice I am spending much money on transportation. Bumeji transport to chat instrument. Transport to all my 15 men mission team members. Transport to my baraes, my akwa, ilai so I begin to ask God for Homer boss 
so that I hear it here. Maybe in a week's time, I will be the budget people in Hawaii. But I hope I teach you that you can seek him for that thing. Oh, yeah, but I don't need to make sacrifice in the synod. Let's make one million. See, bring him boss. And I'm believing him soon as it will come. Anytime God wants to change your level, he will demand sacrifice. Can I tell you something? If God is not demanding sacrifice from you, it simply shows now forget about a bema who come gossip. Stop rejoicing when God is not demanding sacrifice. Hope you're blessed with this message. To watch other numerous messages by Reverend Canon Prince Chukuma, subscribe to our YouTube channel, username Reverend Prince Chukuma. To watch our live streaming programs, like our Facebook page, username Prince Chukuma. For more information, prayers, and counseling, please call 0803 951 2515. 0803 951 2515. Big God bless you.